like lapel. Guy. I think he means lapel mics. Or what? No. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're really good microphones that they think we should get. I can check. But um, you can Google it. Yeah, it's the the mics for the the people. We have those. Lavia is a type of jewelry. Yeah, it's a mic. mic. They want a wired one. Oh, for us here instead of these oh, mics. I don't know. That could be better. You know, maybe I will because then we won't uh, be tapping. But we got, but we get up and down so much. That's the problem. We can't really do that because then we have to. When we get up, this we have to yours, clip it right? off. Yeah. Uh, that this is mine. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one is. This one's mine. I ripped off the paper. Don't touch my water. But, uh, yeah, the, the problem with those type of mics, because I actually was just going to do that, is we get up and down so much that uh, we'd be clipping it off and putting them back on. I guess we get wireless, but then you have the whole, you know, signal integrity that can cause an issue. I was actually thinking of just getting, like, one boom mic on a stand that'll just come over our head like this. That way it'll still pick us up and we could touch the table without, like, yeah. I think that's what I wanted to do. But maybe maybe the wireless mics would be better because, um, you know, if I, have to get a, if I have to ship a big mic stand with the show, that kind of sucks. So? Yeah, and I will forget to turn it off at some point. Some uh, embarrassing run around. point. Yeah. It's just hard. Then I'll, I'll need a guy just to turn my mic off. But I can't afford that guy. Um, so yeah, what have you what have you liked so far about this tournament? About this weekend? Uh, this weekend, uh, I like that right now. It's almost over, ish. Is that not a good thing to like? Professional? Huh? huh? Is that is that a professional thing to like? Every all good things have to come to an end. Sure. I, I'm more. I'm a completist. That is, make something up. Are they completists? I think you just made something up. Well, Chad. well. Now everyone can join my um, my philosophy that I am happiest when things are done. You're happiest when things are done. Yeah. It's not the journey. It's the end goal. Then I'm happy. What has been the biggest surprise deck of the tournament? I've got to say the, the it's, reanimator it's, deck. Oh, if I was going to say the four color ally deck that uh, <laughs> somehow it, it works in Legacy. Do, I think he's at the uh, one of the top tables. He's undefeated. Yeah, um, but unfortunately, he he wins the game so fast that he runs out. We can't get him in, you know, for an interview or anything. And then but, he always loses right before top eight. But seriously, there is no four color ally <laughs> list in any environment just yet. Um, but I, I would agree with the reanimator. Uh, I, I always, well, when Entomb got un, unbanned, and uh, I always thought, hey, reanimator's got to make a comeback. You just have to figure out what the metagame is, and then you know what, what uh, creatures you put in the deck, and then you just build it around that. And as you can see, Ryan's X and O, not even skipping a beat. Yeah. Just skating through opponents. Wish, wish Think asked me to look up gullible. I don't know what that word means, so I'm going to go into Google. Define gullible. Gullible? It's not even on Google. You can't find it. It's not in a dictionary. Easily tricked because of being too trusting. Oh, I think I was just easily tricked because he, I was being too trusting. He, well, I mean, you can find it on the internet because it's not a real word. It's not in a dictionary, actually. Really? It's not. Wait a second. Gullible I think is I'm not being easily in the tricked because I'm too trusting. I am tricky. Tee hee. You got it. It's a t hee hee. Is that too much? Too That's many. A little he's. too much. A little too much. They, they saw you do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I didn't see you do it, so it's fine. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's uh, we're still looking at uh, Andreas Mueller, winner of the biggest Magic tournament in the world ever, the world's biggest Magic tournament. In the world. In the world? In ever? the world. In the world. Nope, just in the world. The world's biggest magic tournament in the world. In the world. It's like the, the, the world's greatest spokesman. The world's greatest spokesperson in the world. You ever seen those commercials? For um, Nationwide Insurance? I don't really watch too much TV. I saw the commercial on YouTube. And probably um, maybe the Super Bowl? 
in the Super Bowl? I think so. Check to see if we got standings. He wasn't actually at his computer, but I left him a nice note. Round seven, yep. All right, so we'll have some updated standings for you guys. Why don't you just copy the whole thing, including the table um, stuff at the top? Why do you make things hard for yourself? Just copy, but not the whole thing. Don't do the whole thing. Just do it however you want to do it. No, Rashad. Just, just do it however you want to do it. You want to tell our loyal fans something? No, I just wanted to watch you do the the marquee. We're going to tell them over the, the standings. Did we say, did we tell everyone who won the Twitter account, the Twitter Yeah, contest? I told them while you were gone. Did, did you tell them uh, about our events coming up in March? Yep. Did you tell them about donating? I believe I did. Did you tell them about my cool hat? No. What's my favorite basketball team? Um, I'd have to say the Cleveland Cavaliers, but back when they had Mark Price and Brad Doherty. Is that like Sean Doherty? Exactly like Sean Doherty. Cool. So that's my favorite basketball team. My you, know, with, you know, Craig Elo, Brad Doherty, um, Nance, and uh, Mark Price, Steve Kerr was on the team. My favorite basketball team is the one I grew up with, the, uh, the Bulls. Uh, yeah, Back the when they the kept Bull, winning. Yeah, the Bulls. Michael Jordan, Scottie yeah. Pippen, Luke Longley, yeah. Dennis Rodman. Oh, all the way back when they were with Luke Longley, huh? Oh, that's Luke you, Longley you, and you, Tony Kuka. Yo, you go, you go way back. It was when I was very little. Yeah, with Luke Longley. I saw him at the my local water park because he lived in my town. I saw him at the water park. It's all about Mark Price. It's awesome. Even though this, the Bulls used to always come and, and smash him. Poor Craig Elo. It's part of so many memorable moments where Michael Jordan just blew him out. I don't know why they kept, like, Craig Elo, he's really good at defense. <laughs> he can hold Michael Jordan on his own. No. Never. All he does is he, he gets game-winning shots made over him, and then he falls to the ground out of the, trying to get out of the camera view. But Michael Jordan, is, he was pretty good. I mean, I like the Bulls, too. Except when the Bulls were playing the Cavs, and then I wanted the Cavs to win. For some reason, I'm a big Mark Price fan. That was a rookie card. True story. Why haven't you sold it yet? I don't know. It's not worth anything now, really. Really? Basketball cards have gone down in value? Well, Mark Price rookie cards have gone down in value. That's the truth. So, anything else you can tell us about this tournament? You were out on the floor for a little while. Um, was I? Yeah. Was I, that was when I was getting the match to come over. I, didn't I, I see was, anything, no? No, I was just kind of waiting for that match to be over so that I could move him. Um, My favorite magic card of the night? I already said that. Yeah. I forgot what I said. Guy's Cradle. Guy's Cradle, yeah. Guy's Cradle. Um, don't like baseball. Sorry. Cubs or Sox? Doesn't matter. Depends on which one do you like. Uh, you go first. Nope. I defend the, the one that isn't being uh, represented. I like the Cubs. Because they're the I best. Guess, I guess the Sox are just as good. Um, 1993 All-Star MVP. Who actually won that? I know. I'm trying to remember that game. I know that was what, one of Mark Price's it? one of Mark Price's um, best years. What is the game? Uh, the 1993 NBA All Star Game. Because 1992 was that when um, was it 92 or 93 when it was the Cavs and the Bulls in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, well, here here we got the information about the 1993 NBA All Star Game. 
took place February 21st, 1993. You, you won? Uh, looks like